Uh, welcome to Vilnius. Uh, nice that you came here and uh, that we made some, some introduction. Uh, I changed it by emails. I will try to do a very short overview of our industry. You were familiar more, more with the product. Uh, so really why Lithuania is so famous with the, uh, with the lasers? Because we started with the lasers quite early after the discovery. And even if you look, even uh, commercial uh, started quite, quite earlier in this field. And if you look, now it's not the last picture. Now we have more, uh, 55 companies, but we are starting, uh, so research entities at different universities. We have uh, companies working for the piece of the glass, making optical components, different technologies. We go to uh, optical assemblies, optomechanics. We have quite a lot of uh, laser companies that are doing lasers. And for me, it's more interesting, it pro probably for Taiwan, it's more interesting that we have a group of our companies are working on, on laser technologies. And we claim that, so we are not, not too much people, so it's 1,100 uh, people in the companies, about 200 in the in R&D sector. And what we claim is so it's four, four persons in, in laser and optics specialists per, per 10,000 of populations. If we look how we, we are grow, we are selling in all countries uh, that there is some high-tech industry of interest, and sales uh, uh, doubles in two, uh, in four, five years, number of um, uh, employees uh, in nine, 10 years, so in productivity increases twice during that period, and about 10% of, uh, of uh, our incomes coming to, to uh, R&D activities, develop new things. Our competences, have uh, High-intensive lasers, ultra-short and short-pulse lasers, tunable lasers, spectroscopy, material processing, optics, fine mechanics, and some electronics that are needed for, for laser development. So we are, we are proud that uh, 90 of 10 top, uh, 100 uh, top universities using lithium lasers. And also our lasers running at CERN, NASA, and Extreme Life Infrastructure. In, in Europe. And our competence shows that we can build very complex machines with a very high intensity that it's uh, are installed in, in two pillars at the extreme light infrastructure, but we also quite, quite good do in doing industrial reliable lasers for industry. And if we look, so it's some extraction for that round uh, map now, it's companies that are working in, in laser, in laser development. I will not stop too much on them, but there is contact of the companies that are working in this field, and, and we have also some R&D activities in, in our departments and also some at uh, Vilnius University. If we look on laser microfabrication technologies, we have also a group of companies that are doing on particular technology development and also system integrators. We have uh, companies that do software for those machines, and also we have some uh, particular companies working on particular technologies that are used in, 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 uh, in uh, different applications fields. Optics and optical components is uh, necessary for our laser industry, but also we are quite famous uh, exporting those components to other companies abroad, and also group companies do working broad range components, some doing only optical coatings, but we also have quite famous companies that do testing, certified testing and working on new standards of how, how to evaluate uh, resistance of optical coatings. And we have quite, quite famous company working on optomechanics. Uh, optoelectronics, it's uh, more related to the semiconductor structures. It's, uh, we have some companies like Broly's group, it was working on near infrared and, and mid infrared uh, uh, lasers and uh, uh, detectors. We have two companies working on terahertz components uh, and other companies, uh, so in, in different fields, so small, smaller fields of applications. And if we look when we, when we started some, some time ago, uh, we, we drift from, uh, from system integration to application and it's it's good that we have some group of the companies that are developing technologies, some models for the technologies, software, and that they have uh, system integrations. And uh, there is also, to look on an application field, we have quite, quite, quite a few uh, spin-off companies, just 
concentrates not on developing uh, systems, etc., but they try to uh, uh, make application of different technologies, particular technologies, for to make closer for for customers to come. For us, it's bad things only. We have quite strong laser community, but we have no end user. With my experience working more than 20 years in this, we have two reliable customers in the country. And they nearly 100% depends on our technologies. But, so it's, it's why this, uh, this meeting is very important for us to find how to cross, cross this border and to expand our presence. So if you look historically, we working on lasers more than 50 years, on laser technology 25 years. We built laser machines 10 years, but now we, we would like to look more on applications. And we try to, to de develop communities of working in different fields and using laser technology or laser-based technology as, as a background of, of their uh, things. Now, as I'm also a researcher at the FTMC, Center of Physical Science, so it's the largest address institution, just was signed uh, some agreement on laser and crystal grow with this, and uh, our department of laser technology is one of the largest one. We have close to 100 people and working in seven uh, laboratories, starting from optical com components, laser development, laser microfabrication technologies. Uh, for that field, we are involved in some European project to show our competence and expand also cooperation with with the entities. And some examples also, we, we have ex some activities in additive manufacturing, industrial technologies, including with robots, and uh, how to use those lasers for fast and precise ablation of a material for different, different processes. And one is a fine glass work with the laser, and it's going that we do develop quite fine things that also use this laser for laser accelerations. Uh, and Another technology that we developed, so it's uh, selective uh, laser-induced metallization on polymers and dielectrics that can be used for all electronics assemblies, especially the 3D shaped. And, and we have some national projects, and, and we look, so we started from technology development, validation, and now we're moving more, more to, to application areas for that. And it's at Vilnius University, we have laser research center, there are groups. Uh, they're working with the students more, and we have also laser development, and also uh, material processing activities, and one of the most famous groups is Manger dos Malinauskas, working on two-photon polymerization and re related issues. And so, if you look, so we have 25 numbers in our company, in our association, but all, all this community is larger, so we have some clusters, uh, localized clusters, and we have some laser digital generation gap. We are belong to the photonic cluster in Baltic countries. The research your connection of the centers. We are members of uh, Photonic 21 and EPIC. This is the biggest uh, photonic uh, industrial consortium in, in the world now. And we are also involved in those activities. So it's really, let's focus. Uh, I'll discuss where we have complementarities to co collaborate. That's all. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Gediminas. Okay, hi everyone. I will be also will try to be short today. Uh, so I would like to tell about our experience in Taiwan. So as you heard already, uh, Lithuanian laser manufacturers are very famous in scientific labs. Uh, but I believe we are also following to be. Uh, famous as industrial laser supplies, suppliers. Uh, and the Taiwan is also one uh, of a market where we can achieve growth. Uh, this is a Lithuanian laser export to Taiwan. I see that we and our laser, Lithuanian laser manufacturers found some applications uh, because the growth uh, since like five years started already. That's a good sign. Uh, so about us, so we are passionate uh, laser manufacturers and designers, so we love uh, doing lasers and laser systems. Uh, we are the first laser company uh, started in Lithuania, just after Lithuania got independent, independence, 
And our first laser was, Pico second laser was sold to Japan, exported to Japan. Uh, we are also well recognized uh, by photonics community as in 2010 we have received a photonics Oscar. And this can be achieved only with, uh, this, these results can be achieved only having great people. So we have uh, more than 130 uh, experts working in our premises and 17 of them are PhDs. Uh, our product range, we provide not only scientific lasers, but we also do uh, lasers, manufacture lasers for OEM and industrial uses. 95% uh, of lasers go abroad with the help of more than 20 uh, representatives and subsidiaries. Uh, we have subsidiaries in three main markets in United States, in United Kingdom and China. In China, we also have a service center where we can support not only uh, customers locally, but also the customers around China, other, in other Asian countries. So our experience in Taiwan started in 2008 uh, when we partnered with our uh, current representative Superbeam. Uh, uh, in the beginning, we sold both uh, scientific and industrial systems, but later on, we're seeing a more potential, po potential market opportunities in industry. We focused on industrial applications, but not only like selling, providing lasers or optics, but also doing uh, subsystems and laser machines. So six years ago, we sold the, their first machine and uh, we continued doing that. And we uh, seeing this quite unique opportunity with our partner, uh, we agreed uh, to invest uh, uh, by supplying our lasers uh, with special conditions to them, so they would develop uh, applications, laser processing applications. So we did a lot of uh, different appli applications with our laser uh, and lasers, but I will just tell a bit more, I would like to mark a, a bit more about uh, those who were turned into machines or sub-assemblies, and uh, we even made some small-scale business. So. Uh, our picosecond industrial laser were used in most of these applications. So like passive component uh, manufacturing, uh, like ITO patterning for touch panels. Uh, we also are very active in this uh, newly developing market of micro LEDs with uh, micro LED uh, transfer processes, repair processes, uh, substrate cutting and drilling uh, for semiconductors. Uh, ceramic sublation is quite nice application for the wafer probe cards and for PCBs with very simple nanosecond lasers. You can do a probe pin cleaning, and our customers uh, use these processes in these in the manufacturing uh, lines. Okay, so. Our target markets in Taiwan are these ones, semiconductor manufacturing, display manufacturing, electronical component manufacturing, and other uh, micro machining uh, processing. So we believe that uh, to be more successful in, in Taiwan, we need to expand our partner network. So that's why I'm here today. And I would like to connect with you uh, not only me, but uh, uh, our uh, partners uh, from Superbin, so we can uh, get in touch. You can get in touch with him, or you can get in touch with me. And that's it. Thanks for your attention, and enjoy this forum. Okay, hello. Uh, my name is Martinez. I represent company Workshop of Photonics, and uh, we are a laser company working in the uh, laser process development field. Um, so I will present some of the technologies that we have, which are used worldwide, both also in the States and in China and many countries around the world. 
And we'll be looking also for partners in Taiwan where we can ex uh, uh, explore cooperation with our established processes and how we can use them in, in, in Taiwan. So our capabilities, we have uh, one of the biggest ultra short impulse labs uh, in Europe, we think. And uh, with this laboratory, we developed a lot of different processes uh, for uh, industrial and also academic uh, use. Our key technology that we always uh, explore in more detail is glass and sapphire cutting or, or glass drilling. Um, this is also used worldwide uh, uh, for both uh, cell phone cameras, for cell phone sapphire buttons, for wafer level glass product dicing, for micro optics, smart glasses, and cell phone screens. Uh, here we have patented processes that we think are, uh, don't have a lot of equals uh, in the world. For grass drilling, the same, this is a very um, potential and, and uh, coming opportunity for semicon field uh, by replacing some products which are now developed from silicon, which is getting more and more expensive. Uh, it can be replaced by a much cheaper material glass which is uh, more difficult maybe to micro-machine, but we have, and we think that we have the technology that can solve these challenges, and uh, this could move forward to a much bigger scale, and also, this is also what I want to stress, where we are searching for partners in Taiwan that would help us to develop this further. Uh, also, some more novel processes uh, that some of them are used daily, like ceramics drilling or metal uh, needle micro-machining or metal drilling for mesh filters. Uh, some more uh, technology advanced, uh, like waveguide writing for telecommunication sector, uh, glass welding at room temperature, working on fibers or glass and sapphire marking. Um, all these processes were developed in our lab here in Vilnius. Uh, all were developed using ultra short impulse lasers and also are ready for scaling up for industrial use. Our customers that we have uh, worldwide, uh, yes, uh, one of our esteemed customers is Mr. James from, from, from Taiwan Foresight, yes, of course. And um, uh, so some of the customers are in the States, some of the customers are in Japan, some of the customers are in China, um, some are in Europe. We also manufacture laser workstations uh, for academic and industrial use. Uh, some of uh, the workstations are located not far from Taiwan. None of them are in Taiwan, but some of them are in quite esteemed universities um, not far away, like Tokyo Institute of Technology or Shanghai Jiao Tong University um, in China. They are using machines that are built here uh, in Lithuania uh, already. And so we're looking forward to cooperation and having uh, deeper discussions with you. Thank you. Thank you, Martina. Like, uh, my name is Peng Chen from uh, E Three. I'm going to talk about uh, the Slovenian Taiwan cooperation in laser industry the proposal. Okay, but uh, I just uh, have just announced that we have uh, already have agreement to set up a joint task force. Okay, that's a result. So we start from the result and then come back to the story. Okay, <laughs> uh, let me give you a, a few a minutes to uh, to introduce E Three first. E Three is uh, industrial technology research. Institute. It's founded uh, in 1973. Okay, so it's in independent, not for private innovation uh, institution for Taiwan and the global industry. So uh, we develop technology for commercialization and the natural open innovation with uh, academia, industry, and the global partners. So we have uh, three uh, campuses in Taiwan. Okay, that's uh, in uh, in different area, but Taiwan is small. Okay, Taiwan is uh, area is uh, 36,000 kilometer square. Okay, not not that big. Okay, that's the uh, the statistics statistics of uh, each tree. That uh, totally right now we have uh, uh, six thousand and of course six thousand one hundred uh, 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 staff. So uh, among the uh, uh, employees, uh, we have uh, one thousand and uh, 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 three hundred plus uh, PhDs. Okay, so the, and we have also uh, twenty six thousand alumni. The alumni means uh, originally they work at E3 and then they left E3 to work in the uh, science park. Okay, so that's become a very essential part of our uh, the companies uh, in in science park. So right now we today we we still um, own about thirty thousand patents. Okay, that's uh, our strength. Our strength. 
And uh, we already, in our history, we have already uh, uh, incubated uh, over 150 uh, companies, startup. And uh, every, every year we provide, uh, this, uh, the year, last year, provide close to 20,000 uh, industrial service. Okay, so at, at the, we also incubate this number of companies. Okay, so every year we have a, a spin of like uh, 10 companies on average from, by our own employees. Okay, we encourage our employees to, to set up their own companies. Okay. So that's a, uh, we just skip this. And uh, so uh, that, that means introduce the uh, laser industry applications in Taiwan. Uh, I, uh, uh, our uh, real, S, real S, laser expert cannot come here today, but the data on, I just mentioned that uh, he will serve as the country window and the task force leader in Taiwan, okay? So they just give you a, a brief uh, introduction to the laser industry. Okay, the, the revenue is not too big. It's uh, about 360 million. Uh, U.S. dollars a year, okay? So uh, supply chain, construction on equipment, okay? So major application right now is uh, in cutting and the welding, okay? So, so but we are, we are shifting to uh, towards the applications in high-tech industries, okay? So that's a, the uh, pie chart is very similar to yours, okay? So that's <laughs> the case, uh, okay? It uh, seems uh, to me that uh, we copy the template from you, okay? So it's uh, crazy, but, uh, but uh, we focus more on the microprocess sector right now, okay? Okay. So that's uh, application and strengths that uh, uh, industrial application and technology development only more than a decade, okay? It's uh, actually a new industry in, in Taiwan, okay? In Taiwan. And, uh, oh, I'm sorry, application driven. Application driven. So we uh, use metal and electronic devices processing. Okay, and uh, right now we have uh, uh, making a 3D printing uh, equipment, okay? But uh, slow, but the increasing rate of penetration and um, more diversity, okay? Then just to give you some example, that's uh, macro metal processing, okay? We use the somehow simulation tool to, to predict the wear depth and the shape for the, the welding use a laser. Okay, we use that in the, the making of battery modules, power, the battery, lithium battery modules. Okay, and we have several, several the, uh, uh, the development of blue laser for precision welding, okay, for some uh, reflective materials. Okay, so I have to speak so fast because I'm not really familiar with the material, <laughs> to be honest, okay. But uh, I, I just mentioned that uh, in which we, we have uh, more than uh, 6,000 experts. So I don't have to know the technology, but I know who is good at that technology. Okay, that's <laughs> more important. Okay, so uh, so but the, that second, that's uh, more important. That's uh, micro material processing. Okay, we use a short and ultra short pulse and uh, picosecond, femtosecond laser for industrial applications. Okay, so here just for example, several examples that are to uh, to. Uh, the, to uh, not adjust, to manage, to, to manipulate the, the, the shape or the, uh, the profile of the, the laser. And they use that in, say, for example, this is for the uh, uh, through, through wafer, through wafer wheel, okay? TGV, okay, through wafer wheel. That's the uh, aspiration is more than like A, okay? So that's uh, some examples, okay? But uh, since you are real expert, you are more familiar with uh, than me, okay? So just take a look, okay? I just want to show you, we, we, are, we, are, we are making progress, okay? So that's the third example, that's uh, additive manufacturing. Actually, in our uh, laboratory, we, we have a group uh, making the machine, making the 3D printing machine, but uh, we process the uh, laser source, or we process the laser source, okay? So that's one separate example used uh, biomedical, especially that's uh, for the orthopedic imprints, okay, orthopedic imprints. And we saw, and uh, we, we also developed the software to go with the, uh, the 3D printing machine. To, to, to sell the, the whole thing as a package, okay? So that's a machine to simulate uh, before and after that uh, the, 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 the patient uh, with the, the imprint, okay? So that's a proposal. Doctor, I, we, we have been working with uh, uh, the, uh, the president of the uh, LA Laser, uh, Lusbania Laser Association for like uh, two weeks, right? So this, uh, uh, at least it's a preliminary uh, idea that uh, that's, uh, say, in Taiwan, we are very good at applications. And uh, in uh, Russia, you are very good at making lasers and laser systems, okay? At least uh, that's a preliminary idea, okay? So that's the, uh, say, for the semiconductor application, semiconductor application in optical electronics and the manufacturing, that active welding, okay? So that's, uh, 
in this region, we need a femtosecond to picosecond laser, this nanosecond, and this continuous wave laser. Right now, currently, uh, we are pretty good at this one only. Okay, so we need lots of uh, femtosecond, picosecond, nanosecond laser sources. Okay, pulse laser. Okay. So, Michael Wang, you want the, pre the, pro the, the PowerPoint file? <laughs> yeah, I'll give you the file. You could just uh, take a photo of me, okay? Yeah, right, right. Exactly complementary. It's very complementary because we are, because later on, uh, Ms. Chai will show that we are very good at semiconductor industry, okay? Okay, so, so, so that's why we are exactly complementary, okay? So that's uh, just a, a preliminary idea that uh, there's a company in Taiwan, there's a company in uh, your side, that's a uh, some uh, suggestions, that's a pretty good idea, okay, so, but uh, it's not final, okay, so we could spend more time to discuss. Okay, so that's the, uh, we, uh, we uh, probably, I mean, uh, we originally, we start from components, but uh, I just mentioned that uh, uh, on the component part and the laser source, uh, you are, uh, well, not much better, okay, than Taiwanese side, okay, so, but uh, we are good at the applications, applications, especially in semiconductor optical electronics and uh, metal machining, okay? So the challenge is, uh, we have uh, several challenges, but uh, we are looking at opportunities, okay? Mm -hmm. So the strength of uh, ultra-fast laser in Pennsylvania and high-power fiber laser in Taiwan, we are, we are, we are pretty good at uh, the, uh, the, the continuous wave, high-power laser, and the complementary pulse laser supply chain between Pennsylvania and Taiwan. I just mentioned that uh, you are very good at providing the laser, laser, laser source, but uh, we are get pretty good at applications, okay? We just, uh, so you could join hand in hand to, 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 to push the, the result to the market, okay? So we have a leading semiconductor electronics industry and the machine tool industry. Actually, yeah, machine tool industry is, uh, in Taiwan, the machine tool industry is the number uh, seven in the world, but the uh, number five in, in, number five in, in terms of export, yeah. in terms of export, machine tool, machine tool. Actually, it's uh, hard to believe that uh, the third largest machine tool company is a Taiwanese company, okay, because uh, the gentleman just uh, acquired, purchased about, about 95 companies in the world. So he be, this company became very, uh, 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 FFG, FFG became the third largest uh, tool, machine tool company in, in the world, okay. So we also support advanced uh, semiconductor science technology center and the high-end Asian manufacturing center. Okay, this is a, a few names that for the research activities. Also, the recommendation, direct in industry to industry connections. So, so making information change. So, LIA and uh, TEI, that's the organization in Taiwan, is more like an industrial association in Taiwan that the, the head, the leader of the, the association is actually, I just mentioned, the, our head of uh, laser and additive uh, Manufacturing, okay. Let me uh, show the guy's uh, photo, okay. So I'll, I'll finish my presentation soon. Okay, he's a guy, okay, he's a guy. All right, say hello to everyone, say hello to everyone, okay. Okay, so Fang Hai, from right now, you will lead the task. Okay, for the further correlation between Lusitania and Taiwan, okay? Okay? Okay, yes, yes, I wish I could be there. Yeah, okay, okay, thank you. So I have finished my job, thank you very much. Okay, good morning, uh, ladies and gentlemen. I think the good afternoon in the online audience. And since... Uh, the, the former speaker has a really excellent speaking. I, I, sh I just wonder that maybe I just say thank you and close my sharing, but I prepared this for a long time, so please give me about 10 minutes to share uh, the Taiwan semiconductor industry, and maybe you can find out lots of cooperation opportunity uh, from my sharing. So. Uh, I'm Ailey Tai from SEMI Taiwan, and SEMI is an industry association which is specialized in semiconductor and microelectronic 
industry. And today I will sh uh, share the global market landscape of the semiconductor industry and tell why Taiwan matter in this supply chain. And the last but not the least is to, to provide some suggestions uh, on the future uh, opportunity. Sorry, I kind of nervous because he already done <laughs> this section. So, okay. So let us start from the global market landscape. And I think maybe probably already familiar or already know that semiconductor is important. But why? I think it is because the semiconductor is the core technology enabler. No matter you talk about the AR automation, computer, smartphone, or other medical care, even the electronic cards, you will need the semiconductor as the key technology to add connectivity to the product. So that's why the demand for the semiconductor will continue to rise. So the next slide shows that uh, the semiconductor industry outlook, and this is the data from the IDC, so you can see that we foresee from now to 2025 at least 5% compound annual growth rate in the in this market revenue. So you can check that it already it's over 500 billion US, US dollar this year and it will grow fast and we can find out it will expand 600 billion uh, by the 2025. Okay. So on the industry outlook, uh, we would like to know what kind of segments to drive this market. So you can find out at this moment, the computing and the wireless, you can even hear that 5G, 6G is still the key uh, driver for this industry. But, sorry, but you can find out uh, with the coming future, uh, there is other new technology like automotive, uh, consumer and industrial also uh, contributes large driver to this market. So we even could say that semiconductor is the new oil to the world. And we often say that small chips but make big impact. In impact. It is because semiconductor oops, are everywhere from the computing, communication, consumer, to the healthcare, smart energy, and transportation. So the demand for semiconductor will continue to rise, and that caused lots of investment of the large semiconductor manufacturing. But if you wonder that, uh, but actually this is also an important point that this industry is highly globalized in, in specialization. So we just summarize this chart to show you the regional strength of the whole supply chain. So we list out the main region. You can see that United States, Europe, Taiwan, Japan, Korea, and China. And the more points have, that means the strength of his region by every section, segment of the whole supply chain. So take a look on the Europe, you will find out. Uh, Europe is strong in the EDA, uh, sorry, in, strong in the IDM, and equipment like e EUV uh, from the ASML, and also the materials. And on the other hand, Taiwan is strong in the IC design, for example, the media tech, and foundry, TSMC, UMC, and also like the ASE group. So, and we, I would like to highlight one point that if you look at the supply chain between Europe and Taiwan, you will find that it is complementary. That means there's a lot of opportunity for the future. And also, so, and you can just take a reference to other regions. So the next section is told why Taiwan matters. And I think maybe some people already read the newspaper from the world world. You can find out Taiwan Semiconductor captures global attention uh, almost this year. And the other issue to make Taiwan manufacture in the spotlight is the auto chip shortage. I, I don't know if you know that. And why auto chip shortage will relate to the semiconductor or the chips? That is because nowadays the modern cars are relying more on electronics than include semiconductor. So from this picture, you will realize that in 2000, the total uh, the old 
automotive electronics cost of the total cards only below 20%, but with 30 years later to the 2030s, it will increase at 45%. That is a hugely increase and also uh, lead the demand for the semiconductors. And uh, actually, the, this industry is also important to Taiwan economy, as the minister mentioned before. Uh, Taiwan's GDP this year is forecast to be the 4.64%, and in largely it's from the semiconductor sectors. And what about the output value for Taiwan semiconductor market? As we expect expansion, expansions, it will break U.S. $140 billion with increase rate of almost 25% comparing to the 2020, even under the pandemic impact. So this is a really uh, high potential for this market. And what Taiwan is well known that we would like to be the hub for the advanced manufacturing. And Taiwan is strong in the advanced manufacturing. And we also be the number one in foundry packaging and testing. And actually, we, we have a strong in the ICT side. And uh, we rank number two in the world world, the market value, second to the United States. So you, that mean this is a lot of market values on semiconductor in the, for the Taiwan. And to the summarize Taiwan's advantage, uh, we have leading technology in assembling and foundry. I think that will be the key point. We can have a, 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 a collaboration in the future. And Taiwan has a comprehensive ecosystem. Like I mentioned, you have a partner in Taiwan, right? And also, we own the largest wafer fat capacity in the world. And that will lead the biggest buying power in manufacturing equipment and materials. So the next one is we would like to share our perspective on the future challenge and cooperation and uh, opportunity. But before that, we would like to say that Taiwan is an important and reliable partner for the world with 60 hard work in the high manufacturing technology. We, uh, we own the total investment, strong, strong power, power of equipment and materials. We keep bringing in more global companies to our supply chains, and we would like to be the strong force for the entire semiconductor industry. So, and also we realized that semiconductor is a new core technology enabler. That means we need to care about the supply chain resilience uh, comparing to the before because a flexible and agile supply chain is crucial to navigating the changes and staying resilient. So from now, actually, we all face the same challenge, like the geopolitical tensions will accelerate the path of reshoring and, and supply chain relocation. Also, both Taiwan and Lithuania need to continue the innovation and investment to fend off the competition. And furthermore, we think talent retention and shortage need to be addressed since it is a fundamental issue to every industry. So the last one is to share our perspective on the future opportunity. We think, as a previous speaker said, they already have a joint tax force on the complementary partnership. And we suggest you should leverage Taiwan manufacturing excellence to speed up your innovation or your key advantage. And also, a platform uh, is a better way to facilitate the critical issue and to learn more the information industry information from the industry to identify the the key point we can co collaborate. And the last one is we need to build up the close partnership between two countries. So it's my sharing today and thanks. Uh, I hope uh, my sharing can inspire you. Aren't you? Thank you. So, so this was uh, uh, last last speaker. 
and I would like to open the discussion session and we have on the um, internet applications some questions already for to start the discussion and there are two questions that are quite similar and I will connect them in uh, one and uh, as these are quite general and not on a topic so we'll start the discussion. So, Lithuania is a giant in the world of laser industry. How can Taiwan cooperate in your country to achieve double wins? And the next question is, how do Lithuania and Taiwan work together in semiconductors, automotive, and satellite industries through laser technology? So this is like, you know, double question, but on the same, so. Yeah, actually, uh, the, uh Two questions are similar, uh, related, uh, but easy to answer. Okay, so our uh, our action is to, to form the joint uh, task force. Okay, we should just push the task forward, to do, make, uh, move forward. And I just mentioned that because our capabilities between Slovenia and Taiwan are just, uh, I mean, uh, is uh, exactly complementary. Okay, and because, uh, I mean, Lily uh, has just mentioned that uh, because uh, in Taiwan, semiconductor manufacturing and also uh, the Aptal electronics manufacturing uh, industry are quite strong. Okay, so we need lots of equipment. So we could uh, push the utilization of lasers uh, into the uh, uh, semiconductor manufacturing uh, 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 industry. Actually, to, to give you uh, an example, that uh, actually, uh, actually one of my colleagues, uh, I mean, uh, in our laboratory, we developed a, a laser tool to clean up the prop car, prop car. Just so sitting here, okay. Yeah, okay, to be seen, okay, okay, yeah. great, great. <laughs> actually, to give you an example that uh, 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 the team in our laboratory developed a, a, a tool to clean up the prop car, prop car. That uh, because, uh, bef uh, I mean, the, after the, uh, the uh, semiconductor chip has been manufactured before packaging, we have to test the function of each, uh, each chip. Okay, that's a pro card because they have uh, the the, uh, the 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 uh, probe. The probe are high, highly uh, uh, very densely uh, 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 arranged in on the wafer. That pro card is very expensive. Okay, but, uh, so they have to routinely to clean up the tip of the pro card, and then they use lasers to clean up the, the, the tip of the, the, the pro card. Okay, so use laser because they have to focus the laser and to clean up. The, 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 so they don't have to replace the product because I just mentioned product is very expensive. So right now they they have developed the uh, the machine and they are right in the in the habilitation process in TSMC. Okay, that's one example that uh, we need a good laser and durable, reliable laser. Okay, with uh, okay with uh, I mean I mean we need good partner to supply the laser and uh, we could team up to uh, to develop the equipment and. They found they could that uh, uh, to uh, I mean to uh, to sell to sell to the equipment to the uh, the semiconductor industry and the uh, optical industry. I just mentioned that because uh, we have a very huge uh, industry uh, semiconductor industry there. So if the machine is uh, has been accepted by the TSMC, so you could you could sell that everywhere because that's a, okay. So that's one example. That's uh, the, the the benefit to 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 team up. Okay, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Very, very uh, specific and concrete answer. So, if, so if, uh, good examples. Uh, any more questions from auditorium or someone from the Finnian side want to, to answer the same question? Mm -hmm. okay. Good. <laughs> okay. From, from my point of view, uh, as I said, we have strong laser community. I, I, I think we have quite strong research team also at, at, at University and Research Institute, but we do not have real access to this end users uh, requirements. And this makes us, we do, based on our knowledge, do developing dicing processes, cleaning processes, welding, uh, selective ablation. But in any case, to move to make it a real, a real technology, we need to have particular contract with a particular requirements and that, that together with your institute, we can develop the real technology that can go to industry. It's quite challenging. So I have one customer here in Vilnius. I know everything even better than they, uh, they know about their process. Because we are close collaborating in many years, so it's, it's really for us a challenge. And I hope that connections can help us to, to get this information, and so we can co-develop all this to go to the real, uh, real using our strengths as the laser sources, in our optics, in some our, our, our 
our uh, research ideas and after that how, how to make it coming to, to the industry. Of course, okay, uh, another may, maybe that will be if, if uh, finally this agreement going to this establish some semiconductors or reestablish some sem semiconductor industry back in Lithuania. Also, we will have some on-site testing facility. We can collaborate with the Lithuanian companies that do this uh, chip manufacturing uh, or, or assembly. Uh, it's, it's really for us, it's a very good opportunity for that. Okay, thank you. Any, any other? The same question? No? I have, there is one question to Martino specifically. What type of laser do you use for high R drilling? Do you need a hybrid process? So for this process we use uh, ultra-fast lasers, femtoseconds specifically. And uh, this can be achieved in both ways, also with the hybrid process and also straightforward laser drilling. I think that maybe answers the question. Okay, thank you. Questions from auditorium? Because questions from internet already run out. My name is Gintas Lekis, I'm from company WOP, Workshop of Photonics, you saw the presentation. Just one comment, my feeling um, and experience from working for decades with Japan and, and already some years with Taiwan, uh, industry is very fast in Asia, very strict, very hard working, uh, working day and night. And uh, R&D we are doing here in Lufain is it's slow, it takes a long time, and uh, relaxed, looking for innovative solutions. So how to match these two worlds, you know, two different languages? So I would suggest to establish R&D programs for specific challenges in Taiwan, and to give some time to bring innovative solutions. So we need longer-term cooperation projects with funding and uh, very, I support Gediminas' idea, very specific demand from industry. So that is my comment about our cooperation. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. yeah, I have uh, some experience with Sushir, okay? I, I just, <laughs> okay, it's a soft friendly uh, occasion, so that's a bit of share, uh, share with you uh, my experience with uh, Taiwanese industry, okay? Because uh, my organization, I just mentioned, I just showed that uh, the, every year we have to uh, not acquire to get uh, a revenue. The, but the revenue was like uh, seven, 760 million euros, okay, every year. We have to, to get that amount of money. And the 40% of the money is coming from the government as a, a research program, okay? And uh, 40, 30, 32% is from the industry. And 28% uh, is a uh, consultant service to the, to the domestic companies, okay? So, the money from the government, the money from the, uh, the industry is totally different, okay? To be honest, okay? <laughs> oh, uh, uh, hopefully, our government officials are not looking at me, okay? <laughs> <laughs> because uh, for the money from the government, that's a research grant. This is a grant that uh, we have only to report every quarter. Every, every quarter, we have to write a report, to progress report, write the, mm -hmm. the report to the government. That's uh, every quarter, three months. Once a three months, okay? But uh, to 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 uh, to fulfill the uh, industrial contract, that's a meeting per month per week. Meeting per week, you have to meet with your customer to have meeting with the customer every week. Okay, so that's a total difference. So uh, that, that make the uh, research here working on the industrial project exhausted. Okay, so that's why we have rotate. We have rotation in, in our organization, okay? Uh, especially for the young researcher, they work on the industrial project for say. One uh, two to three years, and then shipped to work for on the the uh, government <laughs> research project. Mm -hmm. To uh, we call it that uh, to uh, charge, okay? To charge or recharge. Yeah? But actually, they have been the power has been brought down to almost zero. Okay, <laughs> okay. So that's why we keep our talents because uh, when they work on the uh, government research uh, project, they could work on more long term advanced technology. But uh, when they, they work with the industry, they fear the tempo. They feel the tempo, and also they real they understand the real problems. Okay, that's the benefit to have. Uh, 
very different aspect of our research in under the same roof. Okay, just to give you some some example that you just mentioned. That uh, thank you for, for for your experience sharing. That uh, uh, that's true. That uh, Taiwanese uh, uh, industrial partners they are uh, very often very very uh, tough. Okay, very tough. Okay, but no problem. We will have survived. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Yeah, it seems that yeah, both sides has a uh, tough one on, on, on organizing fast processes. Another, another side is organizing long-term, uh, uh, tedious uh, research projects. So we have to merge with, with both sides and we will get quite, quite good result. So any other questions or maybe remarks or maybe some uh, other experience uh, working between Lithuania and Taiwan and on, on people culture sharing? Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm working on the investment part for Taiwan government and uh, uh, the uh, autonomous vehicle or ADAS. Uh, I think that this application is going to be uh, in, a, in a large scale and it's going to be huge. And I do have a portfolio company searching for the LIDAR solution. So if you can point out to any uh, vendor who can provide uh, the LIDAR solution, please let me know. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. So, yeah, meaning that uh, let's go for individual uh, discussion sh session, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. No yeah. Question, right? yeah, 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 no question, so. The gentleman from PMC, PMC is a precision machine, machinery center, research center, which is located in central Taiwan, okay, in central Taiwan, and because we have a huge uh, uh, cluster of uh, machine industry, uh, uh, mechanical engineering industry around that area, so he, uh, the gentleman, is working in that area, so, they are uh, work, work on the application of laser for metal cutting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So any you have, uh, I mean, uh, you have any information related to the machine tool or using uh, lasers? Okay, uh, and you could talk to a gentleman. Lie. Okay. And uh, we have two gentlemen. They use uh, another research organization, but it's uh, the main members of our alliance. Okay, they work with. Uh, I said the, the gentleman just mentioned uh, in the in our uh, laser and. Uh, uh, additive manufacturing uh, 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 laboratory. They work on uh, high power laser. Okay, they work on high power laser. So, during the one to one section, you are interested, you, you could provide a high power laser. You could talk to these two gentlemen. Okay, talk to these gentlemen. And uh, we have a lady from, uh, you, you could introduce yourself, right? <laughs> 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 Um, okay, hi everyone. Uh, my name is Winnie, and I'm from High Nano Opto Electronics. And we mainly provide the laser micro machining services, and we're also a, s a laser system integrator. So actually, we are constantly looking for a good, high quality laser source. So I believe that, like here, a lot of companies have, like, especially in Lithuania, you have like good like advanced laser technology. So um, I am looking forward to talking to all of you ab more about this, uh, how we can cooperate. Thank you. Yeah, actually, uh, I realize that uh, your presentation is uh, 20 dB better than mine, okay? <laughs> 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 okay, we are gentlemen from Foresight. Foresight, yeah. Okay, could you, would you say something? Yeah, actually, we I already work, work with a company, uh, the, you know, you know, uh, you know, Data King Gintas. So I, I have a slogan. I think this is a, this time we can move on. Okay, the slogan is, uh, uh, Taiwan can ha help it, uh, you know, Lithuania from lab to fab. Okay, thank you very much. Yeah. And so we just come back to our advisor Wang. Okay, Wang, I just mentioned he's one of his side jobs is uh, as an investor, okay? <laughs> well, yeah, actually, uh, <clears throat> I'm a veteran of ICT. You know, I was uh, the co-founder of uh, Quanta Computer, uh, which is the largest uh, notebook manufacturer in the world. But anyway, I retired years ago, and then, uh, you know, and, uh, as a side job, I, uh, you know, work in the uh, uh, think tank, so that, uh, you know, helping our... Uh, uh, ruling party or our president for uh, policy making and uh, <clears throat> I heard a, a lot of uh, let's say what happened uh, after 
uh, your country, Lithuania, uh, getting close to Taiwan, and then how uh, our neighbor, you know, react very uh, furiously. So, so actually, is is uh, one of our mission is we like to do uh, whatever we could, and then uh, uh, to uh, advance our cooperation, collaboration, and see, you know, how how can we advance our. Uh, the Slovenia and Taiwan's uh, business uh, relationship, is especially in the less area, I, I heard that uh, a lot of business between uh, uh, the Slovenia and the China. Uh, oh, sorry, I mentioned the name. Okay, <laughs> but uh, we all know. <laughs> but anyhow, uh, you know, I, I think uh, we uh, uh, this afternoon we're going to have uh, some side trip, and t tomorrow and we have more B two B discussion, and then I expect to explore and to understand more and so that we can provide uh, some uh, meaningful you know, uh, support on this. Thank you. We are very great that, uh, that uh, Michael will serve as an advisor to our joint task force, okay, because he's experienced in global, uh, global uh, uh, market. And also right now he serves as the uh, advisor to the president of Taiwan, okay, so. So that's quite important. One of his side job, okay? Another side job I just mentioned is to invest. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Lily, do you want to say oh, no. anything? Okay. No, no, okay. That's all. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay, thank you. It was really, really in interesting and uh, useful. And I would like to ask uh, our members to uh, say a few words. We will start with Petras, that is uh, uh, Laser Association uh, CEO. <laughs> Just, just, yeah, uh, we'll give you mic. And, uh, Hello. Hello, it's nice to see this beautiful company. And I think that our collaboration will go towards, because I see our length our technologies in lasers and your technologies in semiconductors could be good when they will work together. Thank you for your visit. Mm -hmm. Petros, give, give it to Martinez, for example. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hello, everybody. So my name is Martinez. I'm from a company Light Conversion. So we are the largest uh, laser company in Lithuania and uh, we do only femtoseconds, so femtosecond laser sources is really a one-stop shop for us. And we also have quite a lot of uh, customers in, in Taiwan. And uh, yeah, again, as the, you know, Mr. Chen put uh, you know, a slogan, so uh, our slogan is, uh, if you have a femtosecond to talk about the femtoseconds, well, we are more than welcome to do that. Beautiful <laughs> father. <laughs> Tadas, uh, maybe you can move forward. Hello, everyone. My name is Tadas. I'm from company Optogamma. And actually, we have few production. Uh, pro we produce a few lines of the products, and two of them are maybe could be interesting for you. So we produce uh, laser beam shaping and laser beam delivery devices for um, integration uh, of your laser into the workstations, for example, for micro-machining. So it's a, we, we can talk about that. And also, we are producing 1.5 micron lasers, maybe for some uh, LIDAR or for some uh, spectroscopy applications. So we, we can discuss on this topic as well. Thank you. Uh, to the same corner, yeah. <laughs> Hi, then. Uh, my name is Eduardas Gvozdas. I'm from company Altechna. Uh, Altechna mainly provides optical components. So it's uh, one of the core things to build a laser or to build the laser machine that you would be able to do microfabrication or any other processes in the semiconductors too. Um, I would like to suggest also to focus not only on the current problems you are having or maybe current projects you are having. We, ha we are having this discussion always with our customers because the problems that now are already in the market, usually we are too late. We are already too late because we have uh, uh, processing or the a uh, complete solution was developed using other solutions. So I would like to know what will be next big thing in Taiwan, for Taiwan, in the fi next five years, and let's focus especially on those problems that we would be able to cooperate from very, very beginning. 
So this is maybe a little bit selfish because it would be hard to replace Lithuanian production, Lithuanian optics, Lithuanian lasers, but I think this is necessary to develop the best possible solution. Thank you. Actually, you are talking to the right person. That's me, okay? <laughs> yeah, because uh, E-Tree is uh, mission is to uh, look for the uh, industrial opportunities for, I mean, to look for opportunity for Taiwan's industry for the future five to 10 years. Okay, so exactly, uh, yeah, yeah, it's, uh, it's, uh, you could talk to, to, to I was mm -hmm. talk to my colleague, yeah, because <laughs> my army is just exactly to do that, yeah. Hello. But you are speaking about uh, future problems of Taiwan. May, maybe we can provide future solutions for Taiwan as, as well. <laughs> Hello, I am Egidius Swanagas. I am from company Evana Technologies. We provide uh, laser dicing technologies for silicon, silicon carbide, and sapphire for some other materials. And we provide also tools for these processes. So we expect some collaboration with you, and maybe tomorrow we can talk about this. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. And, well, yeah, Kurchadar, Ashkanti, Kamnas Pralaido. Uh, oh. um, hello, I am Marius from company Diadella. We are a spin-off uh, from Lithuania Center for Physical Sciences and Technology. We produce laser welding and laser cleaning systems, and we are looking for cooperation. Thank you. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. I am Victoras from company Optronica. It, we are producing fast laser shutters for technological lasers and also uh, use lasers, uh, mostly infrared lasers, for spectroscopic application for test of uh, polymerization processes and analysis of very thin films. Thank you. Hello, my name is Ernst. Uh, basically, Lasers and other optical devices usually consist of three parts, electronics, mechanics, and optics. So optics is our business, and uh, we would be happy to, to expand our business in Taiwan. Mm -hmm. So, so. No, 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 beautiful lady. <laughs> Yeah, hi everyone. So I'm the cluster manager of laser and engineering technologies cluster LITEC. Uh, so we try to join laser industry here in Lithuania together with the engineering industry. So for the international collaboration, I'm the person to talk to and I will lead you to the right person or the, or the company for the possible collaboration. So thank you. Thank you. So all from the Lithuanian side. Oh. Okay, yeah. Yeah, let's yeah. Let's do the joint photo then. <laughs> <laughs>